what's up guys once again Beagler Outdoors uh, today I'm gonna do a video on a cool way to inlay and customize your pistol so if you want to see a cool way to inlay and customize your pistol with some cool colors of your choice stay tuned right, guys so um, on one of the videos I did when I did my everyday carry video which I'll put uh, up here uh, I had showed my M&P 380 uh, and a couple people actually wanted to know how I got this really, really cool inlay uh, of colors in in the letters. Well, it's actually pretty simple to do, and as you can see, the gun is, there's no mag in it. It's safe. Okay. Uh, well, you need a couple things when you do this, all right? First of all, you're going to have to decide, you know, what colors you want. Now, in this gun, um, I chose white because white usually sticks out really good. But you can see I did both sides of the gun. Okay, I did that side. Did that side. Uh, it probably would have looked cooler in red because it has the red trigger on it, but uh, I went with the white. And you could also, you know, do the numbers on your mags, which you can see I did the numbers in there in black. Uh, it's real easy to do, and obviously uh, this 380 is done already. Uh, we're gonna actually do it on my FN 509, which is my everyday carry 509, and I have a video up here about my FN 509, um, which is right here. You can see there's there's no mag in it right now. It's empty, safe. Okay, nothing in it. Um, and you can see I have the inlay, you know, the inlay of what it says on there, and it's black. So what we're gonna do is we're going to actually make that look really cool and customize it. So remember, you can do this whatever color you want, okay? Um, my This pistol would probably look better in red, um, but I'm gonna do it orange because um, the inside of my holster right here is orange. Uh, uh, and there's a video on it. If you wanna know about this holster, there's a video I'll put right up here all about this holster, okay? Uh, how, to make, uh, how to get them done, the whole nine. But um, I'm gonna do it in a in an orange to match that. So what you're gonna need first, you're gonna need three things to do this. Okay, first of all, you're gonna have to pick the color. For this gun, since it's orange, and my wife happened to have orange nail polish in the bathroom, so I was like, score. Um, I was gonna do it red, but the way I see it is, since the red wasn't there, it probably wouldn't look good. So we went with the orange, uh, any kind of orange. I mean, any kind of nail polish. Walk into the store, 99 cent store nail polish. It doesn't matter. It don't gotta be expensive. I don't know what the difference. That's my rooster Samson out there sounding off in the back, don't mind him. Um, I don't know about nail polish, I'm not a woman. I just know that there's nail polish with colors, okay? So you're gonna need a nail polish. And you're gonna need some Q-tips, okay? Definitely gonna need some Q-tips. Samson's back there bombing me out, but whatever. And you're also gonna wanna get nail polish remover. You do, you wanna get the one that's non-acetone, okay? When it comes to nail polish remover, the main chemical that makes it act fast is acetone, all right? This, if you use an acetone, it takes off nail polish really fast, but that chemical can damage your, your firearm, okay? So you always wanna use a non-acetone, all right? Non-acetone. You need that, and you know, uh, paper towel. So what we're gonna do now is we are going to get down here. I'll put the camera up and we will get down and show you exactly how to do this, all right? Here we go. All right, so first of all, you have the firearm, okay? Firearm's right here. All right, try to get a better angle for you guys. A little better. All right, firearm's right here, okay? What you wanna do first is you wanna clean this, all right? So you take one of your rags, you put it down. You wanna get all the grease and any kind of oil off, okay? Cause it's not gonna stick. So you take your non-acetone, all right? Put a little bit on here, all right? And you wanna go over and clean any oils that might be in there. And acetone dries pretty fast. You just wanna really scrunch that in there and really, really let it soak in there and get any of the oils out of there, okay? All right. All 
All right, and you got the 509 here. I'm gonna get that cleaned out. All right, and you want it to acetone dry, okay? <laughs> now you wanna pour it, okay, into, you wanna pour it into here, okay? So you have some available, all right? And we'll keep it right there, okay? Actually, I wanna get that closer to you. Let me get, zoom in on that a bit. All right, all right. Then what you want to do, you want to take your nail polish, all right? You want to shake it up really well. Okay, we're shaking it up. And you want to take some, all right? And you want to get it and get it all in what you want to be orange, okay? And this is not the best orange. It's like a watery orange, what I'm seeing here. I'm not too happy with that. All right, so I redid it again uh, with this white nail polish. So I just took the nail polish and put it on. See how that put a nice coat? That worked way better. Just for record, this stuff, if you see it, garbage. I think this is the stuff my wife actually got from the nail salon. It's just, I don't know what the hell's wrong with it. It's just Chineseium. I don't know, but. So we're going to let that dry. I think that's going to work way, way, way better. And give that a couple seconds to dry. Then we'll go over it and clean it up. And like I said, it was, it was trial and error in the video. Uh, you know, we used this stuff. It, it just didn't work. It, it's something was, it was weird. Too watery. I don't know what was wrong with it. So we went to this stuff. I have no tag on it. It's just regular 99, I think CVS or 99 cent store. It's the cheapest stuff you can buy. As you can see, it went on so perfect. See that? That's how you want it to go on. Nice and flat. All right. And like I said, this is the white stuff. So it's, it's drying. A little air on it and now we will try to clean it off better put it all dry just blowing some air on it all right and I'll start by this 9 by 19 side over here all right and we'll just kind of go over it all right, and this should work seems like it'll probably work a whole lot better and this is coming off how it should come off okay now you can see that 9 by 19 is way, way better, okay? See that? Yeah, how nice that looks. And you just go on the top and the bottom. See how much faster that was and how much easier that was? Yeah. Done. Now I'll work on uh, this 5. Like I said, the 509 I wasn't expecting a lot from because it's not that deep. But it's probably gonna look good. I mean, this white stuff sticks out really good. So I'm thinking that's gonna work really, really, really well. Yep. And my rooster is bombing us out with his noise. He wants to know, he wants to let you know who's in charge. Yeah, I see that 509's even looking good now, so. Go right over this and get it all cleaned up. Okay, now you can see that 509, really good. Got any thick spots that are left over? Go over it again. And, and this is the first coat of the white, so see how good that 509 looks? Yeah. Right. And we'll do the main here. So we'll go over the main logo. coat of it. Alright. Make sure you get all the extra stuff off that you don't want in there, okay? Alright. Grab this again. Do it one more time. Go over that 9x19 one time to seal that deal nice. That looks good. Go over to 509 again to seal that. That looks good. And go over your main here. That's how you want it to sit. See that? That's how you want it to sit. You want it to completely, completely cover it. All right, we'll let all that dry and we'll come back. All right, so we got that on again. We actually went into this in white too. 
So um, what we'll do is we'll go over this. We'll, we'll get this cleared out for you guys. All right, go over here and get these kind of worked out. to soften it up a little bit under to soften it up all right let's sit on there and we'll just go over this 9 by 19 here again for the third time for the first time stuck and that's how it should look right there that's how the finished product should look see that 9 by 19 that is what we're talking about right there Let me clean out any leftover There you go. That looks great. Now we'll go over this. Let that sit there for a while and get some more in here. Let that start moving. And we'll come over here. The whole thing is you don't want to push too hard. When you push too hard, that, that's what messes everything up. Look at that. Perfect logo on there. Alright. That looks good. The 9x19 looks good. We'll just take this nice dry one and dry it up. Go over the top a little more with it. There you go. Just blow that old dry. Remember, you can go across, it's fine. All right, and there you go. Your finished product. That, you got your 509. Probably do another coat on that if you wanted to, but it's not the color I want. I just changed it to white for the video. You got your 9 by 19 got your numbers all right let's go back up top all right so as we've seen you see me do it live just for the record you know you always need your you know your non acetone um, nail polish remover it works fine you know if it, it's hard to get off it's because it's it's good you, you don't want it to really dig in but you know and this stuff was fine uh, just for the record don't ever ever this brand called early or whatever it's called I mean, I, I would not ever use that. I think this is what my wife got from the, you know, when you get your nails done, you can take the color home to touch it up if you have to or whatnot. But, um, like I said, so um, we did the mag, and you can see the numbers on the mag really nice. See that? A lot, you have to use light colors. It's really hard with dark colors because dark colors are real watery. And as you've seen the white, and that looks really, really good. And you see the... See the 509 there, you see the 9 by 19 or 9 by 16, 9 by 19, uh, you know? And that's, that's, that's a quick, easy thing you could do to, to make your gun look nice, all right? I wanted to do the orange, but this just didn't work out. So for the sense of the video, I, I went and did my gun in a white, which I don't want, which I'm probably gonna change, but just so you guys can see how it's done, it's fairly easy to do. Like I said, you want that paint to go on. When you first put it on, you want it to look nice and flat. You don't wanna be able to look transparent. Cause that means that it's just it's a crappy nail polish um, and, and I would not recommend doing it on plastic because um, I did it on the plastic part of I did it on the plastic part of um of this gun to Smith and Wesson and it it kind of changed it kind of changed the color but it, it's a non acetone so it should be fine but like I said man you want to make your gun look nice this is what you do all right, I have I put links in the videos to the gun, the holster, and stuff like that. But I hope this guy's helped you out customize your gun, your FN 509, or your Smith and Wesson, whatever gun you have. 
All right, if it's your first time here, like and subscribe. I'll make some more videos. I uh, will be doing some more fishing videos soon. But hope you enjoyed it. Beagle Bass Fishing. Out.